Like many of my colleagues, I believe sequestration is both terrible politics and terrible policy. It will have a devastating effect on important programs and services, most notably taking its toll on our servicemen and women and our defense capability. The President's sequestration approach represents a, a haphazard, negligent, uh, and indiscriminate approach to governing, an abdication of leadership, if you will. As you men know, leadership is about making choices, uh, tough choices. Sequestration is about not making choices. I had hoped our Commander-in-Chief would have put forward an acceptable alternative to this near-term disaster, but we're all still waiting. Last year, the House voted twice to resist these across-the-board cuts, only to have the White House criticize and disparage. These cuts will gravely impair the Defense Department's mission capabilities, troop training, equipment and supply lines, research and development efforts, and our overall readiness. Today, it's my hope that we can have an honest and open dialogue to discuss the very real impacts of the pending sequestration, exactly where cuts will occur, and the forced steps the military is taking to mitigate these effects. No question, cuts can be made to nearly each and every department, but this approach will certainly lead to more costs, not less, and less 21st century security, not more. 